Hello YouTube and welcome to the War Zone. I'm Scruffy and this is Scruffy Tales. And in this video we will be taking a look at what is going on in the Kherson region uh, along the banks of the Dnipro and uh, things may be heating up truth be told. So uh, I was checking out some uh, pro-Russian uh, channels last night and picked up on this, so I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, we have Russian activity down here in the Delta. We have Russian activity here around Krinky, and it appears as if the Russians are pissed off at the Ukrainians up here for some reason. So we are going to be taking a look at these three locations. And uh, in the Delta... Uh, as you remember, Ukraine claimed they took this island and it uh, became uh, highlighted as in Ukrainian control. And then, sh in short order, the Russians launched a counterattack towards this island and they have been fighting now for a couple of days. And uh, as of now, the Russians are claiming victory that they have retaken and reclaimed this island. A bit unclear uh, if it's true or not, uh, but I think it's safe to say that we have Russians on the island. And uh, I guess we still have to wait and see if there are any Ukrainians still holding on and continuing the fight. But uh, things uh, has uh, uh, taken a turn for the worse, uh, as it appears, for the Ukrainians in the Delta. Russia is push pushing back and... Uh, yeah, it, it, it's heating up. Same thing goes for Krinky. Here we have Krinky. Uh, we have seen in the last couple of weeks that Ukraine has been expanding the, uh, uh, the, the, the gray area, the gray zone in and around Krinky, uh, challenging the Russians and uh, pushing back the Russians uh, from uh, the town. And uh, as of now, and uh, Ukrainians have also launched a bunch of drones and airstrikes into this region. And now the Russians appears to be assaulting uh, Krinky, trying to push the Ukrainians back, forcing them out of the town. And at the same time, Russia has aimed artillery at Ivanivka, potentially at uh, um, Ukrainian troops and uh, supplies and storages and what have you. Uh, waiting to be shipped across to support the fight. So, yeah, Russia has uh, uh, cranked shit up to 11 in Krinky, and even uh, it's heating up. Uh, we got uh, Russians pushing in and taking the fight to the Ukrainians uh, in and around the Dnipro. And going further north along the river we up here in this area we have uh, the russians shelling ukrainians around solota balka uh, for whatever reason uh, it's not like we've heard uh, of any uh, ukrainians crossing over to occupy territory up here but uh, i don't know if it's targets of opportunity or if the russians uh, figured that the ukrainians may be up to something sneaky potentially getting across, who knows. But the Russians have decided to bomb Solota Balka and the surrounding area for uh, two, three days, uh, by now at least. And uh, so yeah, uh, stuff is happening. Uh, Russia is responding to uh, Ukrainian activity. Ukraine has um, been pushing out into the river uh, taking ground in the Delta, taking ground around Krinky, and Russia has responded by now sending in troops to force Ukraine back. And up here, uh, they are shelling Ukrainian positions uh, that potentially are a threat to uh, Russian-held territory. But wait, there's more. Uh, and more it is. More boats. Uh, the United States, uh, in its latest aid package, will has promised to deliver to Ukraine more boats. Meaning Ukraine is building up a very powerful amphibious force indeed. And 
the US aid package in 2024 includes coastal and riverine patrol boats. Very interesting. A bit unclear how many and of what type, but we know that in 2022, uh, I believe even in 2023, United States has provided Ukraine with boats of various types. Uh, fast uh, assault craft, fast transports, but even uh, these uh, uh, heavier uh, assault craft with, uh, you know, weapon stations and heavy cannons, uh, heavy machine guns and stuff like that. I believe the, they may have provided them with 18 back in 2022, these heavier boats. Uh, and they have lost a couple of them uh, as the war has progressed, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, the United States, they have a lot of boats, uh, coastal and riverine uh, craft uh, that the Ukraine very much uh, would need in order to threaten Russia around the Dnipro. And the United States has provided the vessels of this type before. So hopefully they will provide Ukraine with even more now in 2024. So, what is this amphibious force that the Ukrainians are currently building uh, and uh, hopefully will be able to use to cross the river and the delta? Well, it uh, so far consists of 13 combat boat, 90 assault craft, uh, heavy vessels from Sweden. Uh, Sweden and the Netherlands are providing these and Sweden and the Netherlands are also providing 42 high-speed transports of various types. And uh, the UK is also providing 60 vessels. Uh, and we know that uh, the UK will provide Ukraine with offshore raiding craft, also known as ORC. And uh, so all in all, that is 115 boats, transports and assault craft capable assault craft, some of the best in the world. But that's not all. There's more. There's also an unknown number of underwater vessels and various weapon systems, uh, underwater weapon systems uh, being provided by Sweden and uh, the United Kingdom and the others. Uh, we don't know what this means, uh, what type of underwater vessels and what type of weapon systems, but Ukraine is getting underwater capability. And we also know that Finland will provide boats. Not, uh, we don't know how many or what type, but it has been suggested that uh, Ukraine will need 50 crew in order to operate the Finnish vessels. And on top of that, now we also get the news that the United Nations, or United Nations, uh, United States uh, will also provide a, a bunch of boats and potentially assault craft to uh, assist Ukraine. So we know Ukraine will get 115 uh, assault vessels plus um, uh, the boats from Finland and the United States. So maybe 200 in total in the end, maybe even more. And on top of that, we have the underwater vessels, the submersible vessels, mini subs, who knows? Uh, but it is interesting. It is a very potent amphibious force that Ukraine is uh, building. And uh, it's a lot of boats uh, just hanging around doing nothing if Ukraine don't put them to use, right? They need to make use of this force. And where else will they use them if they're not going to be crossing the river? Assaulting Crimea? Oh, maybe, but I mean, then you need to bring in uh, support and reinforcements and supplies across the ocean. And that may be a tall order with Russian uh, drones and missiles and what have you flying around. So I'm thinking it is the river that they want to cross and... Uh, Establish beachheads in occupied territory uh, to uh, facilitate uh, a proper push uh, in the south 
to outmaneuver the Servican line and liberate the country. So when will all of this happen? Well, I think uh, we won't be seeing anything major this year, but I do think that Ukraine, uh, it kind of depends on what happens with the Kharkiv situation, obviously. I think that took everyone, uh, not by surprise, I mean, we've all heard uh, that it was coming for a couple of weeks. Uh, but it will affect Ukraine's ability to launch a, uh, an assault across the Dnipro. But I think Ukraine will have the ability to uh, establish proper beachheads, beachheads uh, this year. Maybe during the summer, maybe towards uh, the fall. Uh, so I think they will rely on these boats to get a bunch of infantry. Hundreds of infantry, thousands of infantry. Uh, or Marines, I should say, across the river to uh, establish beachheads, fortify, and then rely on uh, javelins and laws and drones to hold the line and keep the Russians at bay. And then in 2025, when Ukraine have uh, F-16s, maybe even Gripen fighter jets, when they have... Uh, tanks and Bradleys and what have you, everything they need, then uh, Ukraine will start sending stuff across the river to expand uh, their hold south of the river and begin to liberate the country in the south. So this year I think we will see uh, operations to secure proper beachheads, but the big uh, offensive uh, will not begin until 2025 when Ukraine has everything uh, prepared for uh, proper operations in the south. And I also believe that we will see the small boats further uh, upriver uh, where they are small, nimble and fast and can dart uh, back and forth. Uh, providing, uh, bringing in resources and manpower. And we will probably see the big assault craft, the uh, Combat Boat 90, potentially finish Yehu and whatever the Americans may be providing and the British uh, Orc vessels. They will probably be operating down by the Delta, allowing Ukraine to assault the Russians in island to island warfare, uh, taking one island at a time until they are ready to uh, secure the delta and then make a push towards uh, uh, the towns uh, south of the delta where you have proper ports and the capability of bringing in larger ships, not ocean going transports, but larger transports that can begin to ferry over heavy equipment. Uh, that would be my guess. So 2024 will prepare for the big uh, offensive of 2025 is my guess. So, uh, yeah, uh, exciting. Jesus Christ, the United States is providing even more boats uh, to this, uh, at the moment, already very capable amphibious force. And uh, the Russians are doing their best to counter uh, the Ukrainians trying to push the Ukrainians out of the uh, uh, out of occupied territory, push them out of the delta, counter them, bombing their supplies, and uh, because the Russians they know just like we do that Ukraine is building this amphibious force, and when the Ukrainians are ready, they are coming and they are coming with the thunder. There will be hundreds and thousands of Ukrainian Marines crossing the river once. The Ukrainians are ready, and the Russians, they are doing whatever they can to uh, delay it and uh, potentially uh, prevent it. Although I don't think uh, Russia will be able to prevent this push. It will come sooner or later. Anyway, uh, that's it, and that's all I have for you. I hope I'll see you in the next one. As always, Go Pomarsh, Ukraine.